Miran Chadda Borwankar, you want to respond to what you're hearing because there's a sense that the role of the police, the role of the police in the manner in which this has happened also comes under question. It's taken, it, we are now 22 years after 2002 and a lone woman has to continue to, may, to fight for justice. What does that say about our criminal justice system? So Raj, Rajdeep, uh, as far as criminal justice system is concerned, police wing investigates and in 90% of the cases we charge it within the time. The trials are pending with the courts. And the first two speakers have already talked about the Supreme Court and the third speaker in your panel has also talked how the first order of May 2022 caused the whole confusion, giving the right to decide to the state of Gujarat. And now the Supreme Court is saying that Gujarat state had no jurisdiction mm -hmm. and the order is a vitiated order. But in this whole rigma role, we lose sight of the fact that Bilkis Bano lost her three years old child. She was gang raped, two other gang rapes, 14 people murdered, including her three years old child and seven relatives. Do these 11 convicts mm -hmm. uh, justify, is, uh, is remission justified? Let's ask that question. I feel this particular offense is an offense against humanity. I don't think it's a single individual uh, murder. I feel remission at no instance was justified. And now we are talking only of procedures. Let's talk of the victim. Let's talk of the message we had given to our own women in our own society. Does any person, whether it's a man or a woman, feel that these 11 con convicts should have been given remi remission, least of all to have been garlanded, welcomed, and being portrayed as some kind of saviors. Why aren't we discussing that? Let, 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 let's, let, let's raise that. Why should? But before I raise that, and I'll raise that in a moment, but before that, I want you to hear what Bilkis Bano told me in 2017. Remember, she was gang raped. She saw in front of her eyes several of her family members being murdered. Listening to what she had told me then about how difficult it was to ensure a conviction. In 15 years, we had to be very sad. We had to change our house. 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 और पंद्रह साल में कभी ऐसा लगा आपको कि शायद मुझे न्याय नहीं मिलेगा जिन्होंने मेरे खिलाफ ये अत्याचार किया है वो रिहा हो जाएंगे वो बच जाएंगे कभी ऐसा लगा कि सिस्टम जो है उसमें मेरे लिए कोई जगह नहीं है कभी उम्मीद आपने छोड़ी थी नहीं मैंने उम्मीद नहीं छोड़ी थी क्योंकि हमारे इतने सारे मेरे परिवार को मार दिया मेरी बेटी को मार दिया तो कैसे उम्मीद छूटेगी लेकिन अभी भी आप कहती हैं आपको बदला नहीं चाहिए था आप नहीं चाहती थी कि जिन जिन्होंने ये किया आपके खिलाफ उन पर आप बदले की भावना से नहीं कर रहे थे आपको केवल न्याय चाहिए था हाँ, यानी क्या चाहिए था कि ये लोग जेल में रहे हाँ। उनको सजाए मौत हो क्या चाहिए था वो लोग जेल में रहे उनको ऐसा याद आवे की आज हमारे गाँव के लोग कितने परेशान थे और हमने कैसे कैसे मारा है माँ बहनों को बच्चे को इन पंद्रह सालों में आपने मुझसे अभी कहा कि आपको घर घर भटकना पड़ा हाँ। एक घर से कितने घर बदलने पड़े बहुत घर घर बदलने पड़े पंद्रह बीस डर के मारे डर के मारे क्योंकि जो आरोपी थे हमारे केस के उनको बार बार पैरल मिलती थी वो आते थे मीटिंग करते थे वहाँ पे हमारे जो लोग रह रहे गांव के उनको डराते थे और मेरे पर भी दबाव डालते थे वो आके कहते थे मुझे कि तेरे को ऐसा कह रहे ऐसा कह रहे वो चाहते थे कि आप केस वापस ले। हाँ, वापस ले। You know, Brinda Grover, to take off therefore from that interview I did with Bill Kispano and what I just heard from Miran Chadda Borban, can say focus on the fact whether a rape convict or someone accused of gang rape, convicted of gang rape and murder should get remission in the first place. There will be those who will argue, and I'm sure Mr. Malotra will be among them that they've spent 15 years in jail. And therefore, under the laws of the land, they are entitled to apply for remission. 
Why should that have been seen as an act of fraud? They, or, or indeed of politics. You could argue that this was done before the Gujarat election. The BJP government in Gandhi Nagar, the Union Home Ministry, both have questions to answer. But there will be those who will say, every convict is also entitled to apply for remission. Uh, totally right, Deep. I have no difficulty in saying that remission is the right of every convict and every convict has the right to apply for remission after the mandatory period, which according to the Gujarat 1992 policy was 15 years. If you go to the state of Maharashtra, it will not be 14 years. The court is not saying they don't have a right. The court has actually rooted its judgment in law, constitution and philosophy. And therefore, they will have a right, but go to the appropriate government. Mm -hmm. You cannot be playing in tandem with the state. I want to read out here, there is actually a statement released by Bilkis Bano today. And I think her voice should be heard. I'm going to read the statement that has been shared uh, after the passing of the judgment today. Today, and this is Bilkis uh, uh, Bano's statement issued through her lawyer, Shobha Gupta. Today is truly the new year for me. I have wept tears of relief. I have smiled for the first time in over a year and a half. I have hugged my children. It feels like, this, like a stone the size of a mountain has been lifted from my chest and I can breathe again. This is what justice feels like. I thank the Honorable Supreme Court of India for giving me, my children and women everywhere this vindication and hope in the promise of equal justice for all. I have said before and I say again today, Journeys like mine can never be made alone. I have had my husband and my children by my side. I've had my friends who have given me so much love at a time of such hate and held my hand at each difficult turn. I've had an extraordinary lawyer, Advocate Shuva Gupta, who walked with me unwaveringly for over 20 long years and who never allowed me to I... lose hope in the idea of justice. A year and a half ago, on August 15, 2022, when those who were destroyed by family and terrorized by very existence were given an early release, I simply collapsed. I felt I had exhausted my reservoir of courage until a million solidarities came my way. Thousands of ordinary people and women of India came forward. They stood with me, spoke for me, and filed PIL petitions in the Supreme Court. 6,000 6, people from all over and 8,500 people from Mumbai, et cetera, et cetera. To each of these people, my gratitude for your precious solidarity and strength. You gave me the will to struggle, to rescue the idea of justice, not just for me, but for every woman in India. I thank you, even as I absorb the full meaning of this verdict for my own life and my own children's lives, the dua that emerges from my heart today is simple. The rule of law above all else and equality before law for all. This is the statement issued by Bilkis Bano, and Shobha has just joined us.